Cleveland and you know the Muskegon Channel when we run across something that is just super special right here in our community we have to shed a light on it and I have found the coolest organization right here based right here in downtown Muskegon Covenant Hall Covenant Academy and I have with me with Covenant Hall John Felski thank you so much for sitting down with me today well, and thank you for uh, spotlighting our our organization today it needs all kinds of kudos and spotlighting and what a wonderful thing you do why don't you explain a little bit about what Covenant Hall actually is okay so Covenant Hall first of all our, our Covenant Hall is in existence to help support one more barrier that our students over at Covenant Academy occasionally have and that is an issue with housing and being homeless temporarily permanently all kinds of other things so the reason the hall was intended to be and what we're working on is obviously to reduce that barrier. And so for students at our school who are having long-term, short-term housing, mm -hmm. the hall is in existence for them. So we always want to remind everybody in the community, and if we know of other students who are ages 16 to 22 who don't have a high school diploma and they're having housing, housing issues but also want to get a high school diploma, if they go to Covenant Academy School, th the Muskegon one here, you also have an opportunity to have housing. And so uh, we worked with uh, uh, Mercy Hospital, uh, okay. who gave us this piece of property. Okay, uh, which so is, by the way, at 1364 Terrace Avenue, downtown Muskegon. Uh, very centrally located. I just had to throw that yeah, out there. No, no, <laughs> that's always good for people to know. And the good part is it's one block from our school. Okay. So it's easy transition back and forth. Um, but, but what it, the hall allows us to do then is obviously have housing for our students. And not only housing in the sense that, uh, you know, it's a place like, it's not like a hotel in the sense, so it's a family setting. And yes. when I say that, what do I mean by that? You know what? Kids have their rooms, but they also learn how to cook, how to clean, you know, how to do their laundry social skills we have counselors that come on in work with wow. other barriers that may be needing addressed uh, for them and so again it's it's uh you know our founder sam joseph is always about reducing homelessness mm -hmm. and youth incarceration and we just believe that if our students have some place that they can go to consistently feel comfortable about being safe at, and safe right safe, yeah. um you know th those are just things that just if you've never been in that situation, you wouldn't understand the pressure you're under mm -hmm. when you don't know where you're going to go every day, where you're going to stay, where's your next meal, and those kinds of things. And so uh, what our intent would be is then our students come here, and when they're staying here, they're still going to school. And what the staff over here is also looking for is opportunities to help them find jobs. Uh, many of our students who are living here in the hall right now, uh, when the IHOP opened up out by mm -hmm. the mall, mm -hmm. We have a handful of our students who got employed by them. Oh, and so great. they're in school, but they're also picking up jobs. They're learning all about, you know, that responsibility of life, obviously. Wow, being it sounds important. like every every kid needs <laughs> this you know, program. Oh my know. gosh. So this is wonderful. Not only are they being provided this wonderful education, but these life skills that are going to carry them through the rest of their life are priceless. Right, and and so I think I think and I think one of the biggest things that we'd like for is the day you graduate from school, mm -hmm. and even if you were ready then to leave the hall, what we want you to be able to do is know how to take care of yourself, how to be successful, right. young adult, right. and being successful. There's more than just being academically successful. Right. You know, the oh, whole yes. ability to manage your money. How do you, do you know how to cook? Do you know how to clean? Do you know how to obviously hold down a job? Mm -hmm. And those things. And so we're trying to encompass all of those aspects uh, for some students who have not had those opportunities uh, at wherever they were living prior. This is such a wonderful gem right here in Muskegon. Now I understand there's two other locations. There's Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids locations as well, um, where you're helping students in those areas of the state. Um, for kids right here in the Muskegon Lakeshore community, mm -hmm. if someone watching would like more information on how they can become involved mm -hmm. in uh, the Co Covenant Academy and the Covenant Hall, how mm -hmm. would someone go about finding more information? Uh, we don't, all I have to do is look us up on, on, on our website. 
Okay. And there'll be telephone number there. Uh, we enroll students every day of the year. Oh, we are open year wonderful. round. Oh, that's and great. And so our school's open year round. Obviously the dormitory here, the hall is open year round. And so anybody who would be interested, uh, and again, if you're having a housing issue, if you don't have a high school diploma, we're here to help support you and help provide that bridge uh, to success. How long has the Muskegon location of Covenant Hall been in existence? Uh, we've been in existence three and a half years. Okay. And so in those three and a half years, we uh, have over 100 graduates. Oh, that's incredible. And so, uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a, a very exciting time. Uh, we currently have about 240 kids at school enrolled oh, and, and actively attending on a daily basis. And so, yeah, a little different for us is that we take the same holiday breaks as the traditional public schools do. So, like, we'll take two weeks at Christmas, we'll take a week for spring break. But other than that, we're open year-round. Okay. So we're in school all of July, all of August. That's amazing. Um, that was, that was going to be one of my questions, if it was a year-round situation or if yeah. it... Uh, fo uh, followed, you know, other public school. No, no. and and okay. every student is self-paced. Okay. And so, uh, and what we ask for is our students have to take the 18 mandatory classes to get a Michigan uh, high school okay. diploma. And so, when you come, you only take one class at a time at school, and then once you finish that class, we transcript it, and then we we put you on another one, so you can go as fast or as slow as you need to according to your academic ability. Um, and so again, your rest of your classmates aren't going too fast or too slow for you. Okay. So it's all personalized. Uh, we have teachers in all the four content core areas who are highly uh, qualified teachers who are there working with them individually um, and obviously in a group setting. So uh, again, we're there to help each kid and work with them depending on what they need from us. What a priceless gem that you're providing for these kids that really need this. And mm -hmm. uh, speaking of the staff, including yourself, I know extremely, extremely high qualified educators, yourself included, yeah, and sure. longtime Muskegon High School um, teacher, coach, you name superintendent. You've so, done it all. You've done it all. <laughs> done it all. Absolutely. So you really do care about kids and their Absolutely. education and their lives, not just their education, but their lives. Well, and, and, and this is all about trying to give back and make sure our community is better. Right. And, you know, I, I want to say a thank you to a couple of special people. Sure. Our Senator Jeff Hansen uh, actually helped secure a three year grant for the operation of the hall here. Uh, and without that, uh, you know, it would make it much more difficult for us sure. to do what we do here on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And so he was very instrumental in that. And then uh, a local businessman, uh, Larry Heinz, who, um, you know, mm -hmm. most yes. everything happens in Muskegon. Larry has touched it in yes. somehow, some way. Yes. And Larry actually uh, went out and raised $700,000 for the renovation of this hall through networking with his, with, with his business friends. And so, uh, you know, we obviously thank them all at our open house in August when we started, but without people like that reaching out and all they want to do is make our community a better place. And obviously we're one of those organizations that we're the, we're doing the day to day working operation right. to make it a better place. Right. Well, it is certainly a wonderful place. Um, do you happen to have the website address that you can throw out to everyone? Uh, you know, I don't actually have that on the top of my head. Um, well, you know what? We will get that for you. We will put that right in our, right in our information. We have a wonderful blog that we attach with this okay. view. So you can look right on our blog and we have all the information you need about Covenant Hall and Covenant Academy. If you'd like to be involved with Covenant Academy and Covenant Hall or find out ways that people can help in Covenant Hall. Um, I tell you what, and, and yes, and uh, Portia Kidd yes. is, is our main contact person who runs the hall here and I will tell you, she did a wonderful job all of the rooms were decorated by either local community agencies or individual families. Okay. So they were all decorated, but we also have been like adopted by a handful of organizations. And so they work with Portia on a, on a monthly okay. basis to say like, you know, is it personal care products? Is it towels? What, what bedding? What, what do you need? And we'll just provide it for you. That's and wonderful. so we have a lot of people reaching out, but you know what? We'll take all the help we can get. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> well, people helping people in Muskegon, that's what it's all about. Well, 
Don Felski, thank you so much for taking time with us today to talk about how wonderful, yet another wonderful thing based right here in Muskegon, Covenant Academy and of course Covenant Hall, uh, helping these kids and young adults um, learn these valuable skills, not only in education, but Life skills. Life skills. Oh, so important life skills. Also we all important. need to know. Yes, indeed. So thank you again, John Felsky. Right. And thanks for tuning in with the Muskegon Channel. Bye.